Back to school, it's top of mind for many families, right? And now Natomas Unified is going back to the classroom as soon as next week. It's a major move while other districts linger in limbo. In tonight's learning curve, CBS 13's Heather Jansen is getting answers on how Natomas was able to move to get kids back in class so quickly. For my son, it would be a good news. Golam Nabi eager for his youngest to be back in school. I always want to see his friends. It's the reality for pre-K to sixth grade students in Natomas heading back to class on a small scale next week before really hitting the books the week after. The district's decision to return seemingly made in minutes as soon as Sacramento County's numbers dropped below 25 COVID cases per 100,000 people. We literally just cleared our schedule Wednesday and started calling board members. Though the plans were in motion for much longer, with tentative strategies created to go back to class as far back as October, Superintendent Chris Evans says thanks to this. We have developed a working relationship with our teachers association that uh, is has been very helpful. But where do others stand and why aren't they at the same point? The Sacramento City Teachers Association is looking for five things. Vaccines, ventilation, mitigation, intervention for those who need extra help and low community spread with plans still being finalized. Sac City Unified and SCTA are awaiting negotiations. We definitely uh, could be moving towards um, in person uh, learning, um, you know, within the relatively near future. But still no target date set. And I'm kind of ready for him to go back. But no matter the situation, others still aren't confident keeping kids home for the long haul. I don't think we should uh, throw caution to the wind because everybody's tired. Sac City Unified is proposing their road to reopen to the school board tonight. Sacramento's largest school district, Elk Grove's district, of course, says they're still waiting on parent feedback and plan to have more to update soon. And we have more distance learning resources available on our website. Just go to CBS13.com slash learning curve.